Hey, this is a 2000 Beavis Solitaire. Just the front the door, of course. All these outside lights, like that one, are all LED. Roll out dolly. Joey, as they call them. Bay 2, there's a built in toolbox. Bay 3, all three of these have rollouts. And there's your central back back there. This one has the TV that comes out. Bay four is where your Wabasco or Aqua Hot or whatever name you want to call it is located. That's the diesel fired furnace for the heating system. This is an interesting little item here. There's a pressure washer that is built in, self-contained, that takes care of washing the entire vehicle. This is the battery compartment. As you can see, the batteries have been replaced. There are three house batteries, one back there two engine batteries. You can adjust your hydraulics back here as you can plainly see. You can also start the vehicle from back here and there's your switches. I don't know if you can see them very well or not. You're turning off everything when you're not using it. Back here is your engine compartment. It is locked as you can see. This vehicle has even a washer for the camera. They pretty much thought of everything. On this side, you have your tailpipe. You have your fan and radiator. That's just access to some mechanical. And you have your water bay, plumbing bay. Here you have your air conditioning systems. There's several of them in there. Similar to a house air conditioning system. This bay is storage and electrical. This bay is your generator. It's a 12,500 Onan. This is your bay for your electronics. The wiring is exactly the same as the Prevo in that respect. This vehicle is built on an MCI chassis. Here are your headlights. It is all bus. The advantage of it is it's 12 volt instead of 24 volt, which is what the Prevos are, which makes it very difficult to work on. This one can be worked on by anyone. Even an automobile mechanic could work on it technically because it is 12 volt. Coming up here, you have your air driver's seat. You have your smart steering wheel. That's your, can that's your monitor for left and straight down. Another monitor for left and right. I should say down and back. Large chair like most units have so that you can have your grandkids or whatever the case may be. These curtains are electric and they come down, shades. And then there's actually a curtain that goes around the entire inside. I can show you real quick. It closes off for privacy. TV here is down out of the ceiling. such. Let me back up so you can see it. Very large TV. They're all new smart TVs. 
All three of them. All of the inside has been updated, refurbished, including the ceilings, the walls, the floors, countertops, sinks. That's, that's one inch thick granite. We have dual pane windows, all LED lights, all upgraded, etched mirrors. Here you have a booth. Originally it had a table and two chairs, the two chairs of which are still in the back, but the table's gone, but you can put it back easily. Recliner chair, computer desk, double door home style refrigerator, freezer, couch that makes into a bed, kitchen, this is, you put your knives in here. The sink is a double sink. I'm going to put this down for a second. It is a hammered copper sink. Very expensive. Far more expensive than something you'd expect to find in an RV. Microwave. Convection, of course. Cabinets. All etched glass. Wine cabinet. If you turn around, you have your half bath. We'll go in there in a second. Here you have more electronics. This is where all of you, and they're like their home type uh, relays and switches and fuses. Not bus like, but home like. Pantry. There's only drawers, space, foods. Here you have. Spice. Spices, I should say. You also have a spice rack over your counter in the kitchen. Plenty of cabinetry. Looking back from the half bath to the front of the coach. We just took down these mirrors and had them etched to put back up. You have all indirect lighting, which you can change to any color you want. <clears throat> I'll show you the inside of the refrigerator real quick. This looks like any other refrigerator, of course. Ice maker. Got a filter in there as well. The half bath is here. Toilet, ceramic, vacuum flush, fan, mirror. Granite countertop, storage space. You'll notice that all the doors, there's four of them in this coach, they're all, they are all hardwood solid doors. They're not, they're not uh, the cheap doors. You see, you'll notice heat in the floor. We'll go in there, just like you have in a home. You have two heating systems, so you have redundant heat going into the bedroom. Again, a door, solid door. It's used for closing off the bedroom. This is a king size bed. This is not a small bed, it is a large bed. It measures something like seven foot by seven foot, something close to that. Cabinets, ceiling fan, more cabinets. Those three over the bed were added, as were four cabinets in the kitchen that were added recently. This bed is a $10,000 Clusterpedic bed that's fully adjustable and very comfortable. TV in here comes up out of the cabinet. such. Let me back up so you can see it better. Goes up as high as you want. I can show you. Goes way up so that you can be laying in bedding. 
getting the full quality. All the blinds in this coach are dual blinds, day and night. They all are electric, as I'll demonstrate in a second. There's your night blinds. Every single blind in here is electric. And there's your day blinds. Again, dual pane windows throughout. Each room has its own electric thermostat for heat. Ceiling in here is alligator. I don't know if you can see it or not. I suspect you can't. Cabinets are lit. We have cabinets. Ceiling fan is turned on. <coughs> okay. You have controls for the bed. I'll show you a control. There you go. These, each person has a control. Each side has a control. As you can clearly see. You have central vacuum, as you can see. Well, you probably can't see it from here. But each room has central vac, electric heat controls. Going into the back bathroom, you have a jetted garden tub. It is all marble. Of course, a skylight. All very modern. Piece of glass separating. You have a toilet. Seen one toilet, you've probably seen them all. Going back into the bedroom. There's your sink. Going into the closet, which is cedar lined. This is where your washer and dryer is. They're separate units. They work very well. It's all carpeted in here. We have a place for soaps. Looking back into the bedroom. Shower. Place for shoes. And this is where you hang up your clothes. Thank you for taking a tour today on this 2000 Beaver Solitaire.